Hi, welcome to New Orleans. I'm Mark Becker. I represent the New Orleans Hotel Collection, which is a group of splendid hotels in America's favorite city. Those hotels include the Audubon Cottages, the Bourbon Orleans, which we'll hear more about later in the show, the Crown Plaza New Orleans Airport, the Dauphine Orleans, the Hotel Le Marais, the Hotel Mazarin, and the Wyndham Riverfront Hotel. These hotels all represent exactly what you're thinking of when you dream of New Orleans. Today we're going to learn and see a little bit of the Bourbon Orleans Hotel, which is our crown jewel property here in the French Quarter, it's here in, in the very heart of the French Quarter. We're located here directly behind St. Louis Cathedral, and this hotel has a wonderful history. At one time it was a nunnery uh, for a group of uh, black nuns that still exist and practice in New Orleans East now. The building uh, then became the Hotel Bourbon Orleans. It also has a long story um, that relates to its haunting, and there are at least four different ghosts that are seen regularly by guests uh, in and around the Bourbon Orleans. Part of that probably stems from the fact that where we're standing right now is one of the oldest ballrooms in all of New Orleans. It originally dates from 1817. In addition to its beautiful ballroom, the Bourbon Orleans boasts a number of really delightful suites with balconies that overlook both Orleans Street and Bourbon Street, which is the famous street for entertainment. In addition to those rooms, there are a total of 218. We have a beautiful pool, a business center, and some great space for meetings. In addition to our ballrooms and suites, we also have a wonderful entrance. Uh, French doors opening right out onto Orleans Street, and right inside is our Rue on Orleans restaurant, where we serve a delightful southern-style breakfast every morning and a great brunch on Sundays. This adjoins the lobby, which is a grand statement about old New Orleans. Because the hotels of the New Orleans Hotel Collection find themselves in a city that's famous for food, one of the wonderful things that we enjoy doing on a regular basis is to put on our annual celebration of wine and food together. It's going to be served at Rue on Orleans. There's no place on earth that you can have as much fun as you can in New Orleans when you're enjoying a great wine and food experience with premier chefs and restaurants of New Orleans matching up with renowned vineyards. This is Barringer Private Reserve 2007 Vintage, if I'm not mistaken, uh, rated uh, 95 by the Wine Spectator and 97 by Robert Parker, the Wine Advocate. So just a fabulous vintage, big, rich, chewy, dark fruit, just luscious wine. So I think everybody's going to have fun. Here we are being treated to a masterfully designed menu to pair with each different wine tasting in a five-course dinner. So with the, with the duck, we're going to have Chateau Saint-Jean Pinot Noir. Uh, Pinot Noir, to me, the perfect summertime red. Pinot Noirs inherently much lighter than Merlots or Cabernets. It's more kind of black, uh, blackberry, uh, black raspberry style fruit, some really nice spice lightly oaked. It spends about eight to ten months in barrels. Um, the Pinot Noir we're having tonight from St. Jean, all Sonoma County fruit, most of it from Carneros, uh, about 75 percent, the balance from Russian River, so perfect Pinot Noir fruit. This is a great way to meet and make friends. Frank Puglia from Behringer explains the different types of wines we're tasting. I'm not a golfer, but I had, I can play golf. I had the pleasure of working on a golf course for my last year in school in Greens and Grounds. The picture of her on the tractor and the country club is in my study at home. Joey Wells, the executive chef of Bourbon Orleans, has prepared a spectacular menu. They, they love me here. I'm going to come back in about in about uh, five ten minutes and tell you a very brief story about Beringer Nightingale, which is our uh, incredible incredible dessert wine, along with our chef tonight. <laughs> Thank you.
Joey Wells, executive chef of the Bourbon Orleans Hotel. <laughs> we pick them a little bit early and we actually spray them with these botrytis spores and we air dry them on racks like they do Amarone in Piemonte, okay? And we let the berries become raisins and then these raisins, when they get pressed, produce a tiny, tiny amount of juice with lots of sugar in them, okay? So you start with a lot of sugar, you end up with a lot of sugar. It's a fantastic, really viscous, it's like nutty and honey, and you're gonna love it. You know, I like, I, this one gets me in trouble every now and then, but I call it belly button. Okay. Thank you everybody, I appreciate it, good night. Our new friends and table mates joined us for a photo <laughs> off. Just recording this whole time? No. Okay, so you just stick still? No, you're talking. Okay. Talk. okay, be still if you want. We're in I'll... New Orleans. It's fantastic. Had a great time. The wine was great. The food was great. The food was great. The company was great. The company was great. I feel like dancing. <laughs> Following a successful dinner, Lori Guidry, the sales and marketing director for the Bourbon Orleans, joins her table mates for another photo opportunity. Everyone loved the dinner. Here's a salute to Frank Puglia from Beringer, a sensational host. New Orleans is a unique city, one that people dream about and love to come to. And the hotels of the New Orleans Hotel Collection, and in particular this one, the Bourbon Orleans Hotel, represent that city in a way that no other big box chain style hotel can do. If you're interested in seeing a little bit more about it, visit our website at neworleanshotelcollection.com.